Oh. Great. Okay. Team coach, vital new skills for supervisors and managers in a team environment. What's the big idea? The book addresses the growing trend towards self-directed work teams. Three important takeaways from the book, uh, the transition, the coaches, and the teams themselves. The transition. During any type of transition, the change often will meet with some type of resistance. The most important opposition to this change is mindset. Three important mindsets, the mindset of the supervisors, mindset of the employees, and the mindset of the organization itself or upper management. Mindset of the supervisors, the supervisors are being replaced now with team coaches. As opposed to supervisors, the team coaches do not distribute the work. They do trust their teams. They do provide them with assistance needed to do their jobs, and they focus on empowering the team to be able to do its job. Mindset of the employees. The self-directed work teams allow employees more input into the process, but not without changes. They do not wait for someone else to give the assignments. They do confront issues themselves. They are to be accountable to each other. They do respect the knowledge and skills and experiences of other team members in order to be interdependent and do their jobs. Mindset of the organization or upper management. Though much of the changes directly affect the team and coach and self-directed work teams, it could also be required um, it could also require a complete culture change for the organization itself. Communicate with group members, not with the supervisors, and trust group members and the coaches to do their jobs the way that they're supposed to. Previously, supervisors who are now team coaches are finding new responsibilities. Supervisors who previously found themselves directing individual activity and managing people with an iron fist are finding a huge change required of coaches. These changes include aiding in communication, supporting the team and its decisions, protecting the team, and team member development. Aiding communication. Coaches find themselves in a position of no longer being the epicenter for the dissemination of communications. Coaches must now break down barriers to communication and they must encourage openness amongst team members, amongst teams, and amongst the organization itself. Support the team and decisions. Coaches find themselves in a supportive role while maintaining certain authorities over the self-directed work teams. They need to go to bat for their team. They need to allow the team to make mistakes. As team coaches, they need to show their support and they need to go to bat for the teams. They need to be able to, to stick their head out on a chopping block occasionally for their team members, uh, especially when they know that their team is right. Uh, just because it's different doesn't mean it's wrong. Protect the team. The hard part for these new team coaches can be knowing when he or she should get more involved. After being told for so long as a team coach, you need to not be involved. You need to back out. You need to learn to let them do it themselves. Now there are times when they do need to get involved. It's the um, <clears throat> it's it's the exception, not the rule. They need to help teams avoid big mistakes, big costly mistakes uh, that can damage the project or the organization. They need to have the team deal with conflicts within the group. Um, Team member development. The coach may even find him or herself taking on more responsibilities. Where training and HR may have once tackled certain issues, now team coaches are getting more involved. One example is cross-training. Often uh, team members will be cross-trained, uh, spending about a year to six months on different jobs, learning each job that can help the team to do uh, what it is they need to do to complete the project. And career goals. Uh, one of the uh, responsibilities of the team coaches to get to know the employees 
and their career aspirations and help them with that. Uh, help them move into other, uh, other positions within the company, 